Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. And here we put a watermark on the Google document in two ways, on single and all pages. Of course, you'd want to protect your intellectual property and sign it in some way, be it an article, a drawing, even music and etc. And for that we frequently use watermarks. Fortunately, Google made it really simple in Docs and recently even added a dedicated shortcut for that. Let's go see how to use it. Earlier, you would have had to go to the separate Google Drawings app and make up an image there. Only after that, you could transfer it into the Doc and use it. But now, Google made it possible to put a watermark over the Doc right away straight inside the document. Go to the Insert on the toolbar and near the middle you will find the watermark item. Pressing it will bring up this bar on the right. And this is exactly where you select an image to turn it into the watermark. Here you have image uploading options on top. And this time we choose the most common one to upload it from the computer. Click Browse and locate the image on your PC or just open the Explorer, locate the image and drag and drop into this area. On the dock, it already appears partially transparent and looks just the way we need. And you have it on every page of the document. Basically, this method is just great when you need to put a watermark on every single page of the document real fast. But that's not all to it. Then, you would certainly want to move it elsewhere. And for that, find some empty space near the image and double-click to select it. Now press hold on this highlighted frame and move it elsewhere. Then, you would certainly want to change its size. You can use this drop-down for that. Or do it in a common way by pulling the squares on the frame of the picture. And sometimes, you may want to rotate it. And for that, select the watermark and pull the circle on top of its frame, left or right. Find a perfect angle and release. And all these changes will be duplicated across all pages for all watermarks. And finally, some other visual adjustments applied manually. When the watermark is selected, uncheck the faded box, which will remove the transparency, and click on more image options below. Here you have the familiar size and rotation, then position, and then you have Recolor to apply some basic color filters to it right here. And the final adjustments lets you manually choose the transparency by moving the slider. Then brightness and contrast. And that's mostly it. The flaw of this method though is that if you need to put multiple watermarks on a single page, you have to go through all this over and over again for every next image, which is not really convenient. And this is why we have a second classic manual way to put a watermark on a dock. So basically, watermark is just a partially transparent image put over the text. And the second way is just about that. We simply upload the image by going to the insert on the toolbar on top, first item here, and you go with either one of these options or just like me, you upload it from the computer. Locating it in the explorer, and double-clicking on it. Here it is on the page, and it doesn't matter how it looks now. The next thing we do, select the image, which will bring up this little bar below the picture, where we hit on the last but one button, meaning to put an image over the text and we're halfway there. And while the image is still selected, we go to Image Options on the toolbar, which opens this sidebar where we click on the last Adjustments item. The first slider here stands for transparency adjustments and by moving it left and right, you define how visible your image will be. I personally like when it's barely visible and does not overlap the content, yet reminding of the author. Then you can resize and rotate it in the first drop-down for size and rotation. Or do it manually by pulling the squares on the edges of the image and then rotate it by pulling the circle on top, left or right. I personally like this way much more, 
it basically offers more settings and it isn't even slower. I'd say that this dedicated add watermark button in Docs is nothing but just a handy shortcut since Google Docs is all about speed and simplicity, unlike MS Word being way more complex. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodacts.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.